shit. Is that... Frank? Frank! Shit, this is bad. I'll get you help, Frank. But first, I've got to help Rachel's mom. Where the hell is Sarah? Sarah's got to be in here somewhere. Don't tell me what to do. Frank's couch is toast. Everything's going to be just fine. Just a little longer, and all your troubles are going bye-bye. What the fuck? I just want to meet my daughter. Can't you understand why does your he- Your daughter? <laughs> Jesus. So that's what he's worried about. Can't let the public know. The mother of his daughter is some junkie. I just want to see her. You don't have to- Shut up. James Amber wants you out of the picture. So that's what's going to happen. This is so messed up. After all, no one believes a junkie. No. He said you've been sober a year. Respect. It's hard to kick this shit. You can do this. Damon. What the hell are you doing here? I've got your money right here. The money James owes you. How the fuck do you- Run! No one has to know. Just... Just let her go, and I won't say- No! Talking's over. Leave her alone! Shut up. What the fuck?
You boosted the DA's shit? Got my money? Burned the evidence? All that? I'm just... trying to help. Get away from her! I said shut the fuck up! No! Go to your fucking happy place. Right. Let this be a lesson, kid. Make good life choices, or you'll end up like her. Now, what do I do with... Damon! What did you do? Ho 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 I fucked you up good, didn't I? Guess you really don't know when to quit. Glad to see you back on your feet. Chloe. Frank. You don't really want to do this again, do you? Okay. Then I don't want to do this again. Come on, man. Fuck you. <laughs> I saw you in the play. You were funny. Thanks. Sit. Sarah. Are you okay? We need to talk about what happened. I am so, so sorry. Rachel can never know. What exactly can't Rachel know? What James did. Hiring that thug. Shooting me up with... <sighs> He's a piece of shit. And I promise that Rachel can never know. Tell me why. Doesn't she deserve to know what her father did? No. Rachel deserves a loving father. A father who cares for her. James is a liar. James who... is a desperate man who loves his daughter. And she loves him. Tell her what happened here. And you'll take that away from her. Forever. And just, what is James protecting her from? You? She wants to meet you, Sarah. No, she doesn't. She wants to meet her mother. I can never be that for her. Why are you saying all this? Because James is right. He's taken something from me that I might not ever get back. But he's right. I'm broken. No, you're not. You're stronger than you realize. You don't know anything about me. I know Rachel needs you. I know loss. I lost my father two years ago. How? Car accident. 
he was... He was picking up my mother from the grocery store, and a truck ran a red light, and that was it. I'm sorry. You don't know what this is to me. Every pain. Every fear. Gone. No more sadness. No more grief. Why would anyone not want to feel that way? Ever. I read your letter to James. You beat this before. You can beat it again. No. I can't. I... I recognize I might not know what the fuck I'm talking about here, but I just... I wish you could know how amazing Rachel is. I know. She's fearless. She's brilliant and talented. And she feels so much. She's so strong. She's had a good life. Raised in a loving home, given opportunities I could never give her. At least talk to her. She's felt like something's been missing her whole life. She told me so. That something was you. She didn't miss anything. She has a perfect family. I used to think my dad was perfect. But now I realize he was probably just as messed up as everyone. And it doesn't make me love him any less. That's a nice thought. What Rachel needs, though, is not to have her father taken away from her. <laughs> he doesn't it's deserve- It's not about James. It's not about me, and it's not about you. It's about Rachel. Tell her what James did, and you'll be killing him for her. You understand that, don't you? You lost your father. Do you really want to put Rachel through that? Don't you want to see her? You came here for it. You got sober. You deserve the chance to know your daughter. Nothing can change the mistakes I made. I'll never get to be Rachel's mother. Not really. But there's one thing I can still do for her. The only thing I can do. Let me give her the father she deserves. The one who raised her. Protected her. The one who loves her more than anything. You can do whatever you want, Chloe. You have the power. What you have to decide is whether you're going to protect Rachel or cause her even more hurt. So please, tell her I was never here. Let her have what peace she can, without me. Wait! I'll take care of her, you know. I believe you.
Goodbye, Chloe. Hello? Hi, Chloe. Rachel's just fallen asleep. I know she'll be thrilled to see you when she wakes up. Maybe come back a little later? Hey. Go back to sleep, kiddo. You need your rest. Can I talk to Chloe? Alone? For a minute? Okay, sweetie. We'll be right outside.
Right, I guess. But isn't your mom gonna freak? She's probably cooking with the radio on. She won't hear a thing. I bet she'll notice a hole in the floor. Trust in science, Max. Even when science means blowing shit up. That wasn't the coolest thing you've ever seen! You're insane! That explosion was massive! You say that like it's a bad thing. Pretty sure your mom would think so. Let's hope she didn't hear. When she asked me to get rid of my old junk, she never specified. But I guess I better do some actual cleaning too. I'll be excavating the closet. If you see anything else to trash, help a girl out and chuck it on the pile over there. It feels like I've spent half my life hanging out in this room. <laughs> Probably because I can't believe those days are all... In a few days, my whole family moves to Seattle. I have no idea when I'll see Chloe again. This could be my last chance to say goodbye. But how do you tell your best friend that you're with her cleaning. And while I'm at it, I can take one long last look around this place. Okay, what do I see around here that belongs in the trash box? Chloe's had this hoodie for years. It's her favorite. What are you doing? Your favorite hoodie? You must have thrown it in by mistake, right? No. It, it's, it's fine. It's filled with holes and falling apart. That never stopped you from wearing it before. It's fine. Really. What about this half-eaten jawbreaker? Serious biohazard. You promised me we'd finish it together no matter how long it took. Don't be a... You're right. Yes! The never-ending candy. Chloe's been beating me for a while, but 
That growth spurt could come any... You better not be thinking. Chloe, I haven't seen you touch this guy in years. Why do you care? Why do I care if you throw my beloved childhood friend into the trash? I don't think that just... <laughs> Sorry, chum. That's better. People say a lot of things about the Prescott family, but this is pretty... I bet Chloe's parents were freaking out when she got this letter. I still can't believe you're a Blackwell Academy student. Oh, the classes are incredible. The teachers are actually smart. And the lab is legit. Petri dishes for... What about the students? Are they as stuck up as you thought they'd be? They're... fine. Chloe, you are terrible at hiding your feelings. Is everything okay? I don't know, I just... I like hanging out with normal people. Like you. Thanks. I guess. You know what I mean. I... I hate fake people. You're... real. Thanks. Hey, what's your dad's camera doing in here? Dad said I could bring it up here for you to use. He's tired of watching you drool all over yourself every time he uses it. His words. Your dad is the best. Sure. Just don't ever tell him that. We need to keep him on his toes. <laughs> You're off to a great start. Actually, it's kind of cool. This seems like a good candidate. Are you insane? That's my entire magic collection. Do you know how many weeks of allowance this cost? You haven't touched these since the fifth crate. Maybe because my assistant turned out to be squeamish at the sight of fake blood. At least you didn't saw me in half. How are you planning to clean this place if you won't throw away anything? A magician never reveals her secrets. Put it back. Okay, whenever I'm ready, I can go tell Chloe I'm done arguing about trash with her. As usual, Chloe's grades are better than mine. I still kick her butt in P.E. though. Ever since I started taking photos, Chloe's hung them in her room. It's like my own private gap. Let this box of trash be a sacrifice to you, oh almighty Chloe Bear. What are you doing? Adding this no to the whole freaking way. Just because I beat your ass every time we play doesn't make it trash. <laughs> that 
intense BS. The last time we played, I wiped the floor with you. Poor Max. Losing your memory at such a young age. Guess we'll have to play again soon and find out. Chloe's had this hung up on her wall forever, but neither of us can figure out what happened to the last panel. I hope Dr. Chloenstein's okay. Chloe's mom wanted us to go through this pile of old clothes and find stuff to donate. Instead, we played dress up for... Oh, this was our first unsupervised concert together. It was so much fun. We were supposed to see another show next How week. sick was that show? This... I've been working on my moves for the next one. Check it. <laughs> How about you? Any... No, not yet. I guess I'm still recovering from the last... Fair enough. All right, back to the junk mines. Chloe keeps trying to get me to hop on her board. I'd rather take pictures. Chloe's such a nerd. She hangs on to all her old textbooks and school supplies. How about these boy band trading cards? Super cringeworthy. Yeah, and hilarious. Remember when we gave them? You mean when you drew boobs on all of them? I was so mad at you. And yet, our friendship lived on. So too will these cards. Live fast, die young, and go out with a bang. <laughs> Rest in pieces, doll. I can never tell if Chloe is my best friend because she makes me do crazy things, or despite it. That's it. I'm calling off the search. If you want more trash, you'll have to find it. Well, it wasn't exactly the purge mom was hoping for, but at least... All right. And now we've got the whole day ahead of us. What do two under-supervised friends with clean rooms and clean slates want to get into today? I guess now would be a good time to tell Chloe I'm leaving. Or I could let us enjoy the day first and... Tell her later. The possibilities are endless. Got anything in my... Actually, you bet your ass. I found this when I was digging around before you got here. 
You're gonna flip! Do you have any idea what this is? You're the one with the killer memory, not me. Very true. One of my finest traits, along with humility. This tape is from five years ago. It's a message from our past selves to our current selves. So we were eight years old? That's crazy. I can't even imagine what we sound. Ready to find out? <laughs> a vast future wayfarer. Ye have uncovered the audio log of the most fearsome pirates in the bays of Arcadia. <laughs> <laughs> Captain <laughs> Bluebeard and Law oh Max Silver. <laughs> You're in search of buried treasure, are ye? Well, if it's treasure ye seek. Do mine eyes spot two fair pirate wenches? <laughs> Dad, get away! We're in the middle of an important project. Oh, a project. Never mind then. I apologize. I mean it! All right, all right. Supper's in five. Wash your hands, you grubby pirate kids. <laughs> so? <laughs> As I was saying, <laughs> if it's treasure ye seek, ye've come to the right place. But be forewarned, the journey will be treacherous and full of <laughs> treachers. Nice. To find the treasure of Price Isle, you will need the map from the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Only the map can lead ye to the treasure ye seek. But be forewarned. Uh, again, only those with pure <laughs> hearts will be able to see. What the amulet shows them. The amulet. <laughs> Good luck. And uh why? <laughs> Dude, that was amazing. I can't believe you still have that. Uh I would never throw <laughs> away something. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Forget everything. Today, we go treasure hunting. I think I know what eight-year-old you meant by the manuscripts of Captain Bluebeard. Our old sketchbook! This is where we kept all our pirate drawings. Yep. Now let's see this map. This looks like a page was ripped out. I wonder if it's the map. Hey, check this out. This page was ripped out. Do you think it... If it is, there's no way I would have thrown it out. Maybe it's mixed in with the rest of the... All right, time to find this map. Chloe and I were doing a lot of drawing in Miss Shelley's class. I wonder if the map is mixed in with her school supplies from that year. Don't move. 
This angle is... Why be shy? Get in here, dude. Subject and photographer. You really do... <laughs> I try. puzzle you need the telescope and the amulet which we hid inside a dark cavern aka Ugh. why did we do that to ourselves because we were eight years old and the attic was the scariest place we could think of was <laughs> your attic is still terrifying <laughs> it's been five years max i'm sure the boogeyman has died of starvation it's more the mice and spiders I'm afraid of. Time to face your fears, then. Okay, and once we have the amulet and the telescope, we use them to reveal the treasure. Somehow. Here's what's happening. I'll head to the garage to dig up my old telescope. You go find that amulet. We'll meet out back at the pirate. You mean the swings? Yes, the pirate ship. Captain Bluebeard and Long Max Silver right again, bitches! Chloe seems so in... If this has to be my last day here, might as well have one final pirate adventure. Okay, Chloe said she hid the amulet in the attic. The only way in is through the broom closet. I can't believe I won't be able to call Arcadia Bay home much longer. I slipped and broke this post a few years ago, but Chloe insisted on taking all the blame. Even after she got grounded, she never squealed. What a friend. I don't think I've ever actually seen anyone reading these books. I always like to imagine I could open that wardrobe and step into another world. I don't think I could ever handle a real life murder investigation. The two whales makes the best Belgian waffles. No other diner could even come. It's so sweet that Chloe's mom takes this photo with her to work. Chloe's mom is trying to quit smoking. Principal at Blackwell wants did Chloe get into a, f a voicemail? Sometimes I really wish I had siblings. Chloe hasn't mentioned it. Chloe is such a nature nerd. I bet she's gonna love it. Most strikes? How can that be so cool and so dorky at the same time? It's awesome that Chloe's mom wants to teach kids. She'd be really good at it. Makeup is great for acting in Halloween costumes. Any other time, 
I just don't get it. The things inside this cabinet haven't changed very much over the years. Chloe's mom bought me a toothbrush because I spend the night here. Well, I used to. I guess Chloe never really grew out of wanting to be a pirate. place in the house, but... There it is. The dark cavern. Crap. I can't get into the attic if I can't even reach the door. I need to find something to stand on. I'm sure I can find something around here to boost me up. It's a start. I gotta find something I can stack on top of it. It seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. Seems like Chloe's dad always has a project around the house. What can I set on top of that crate to get? I've got to find that amulet before I meet Chloe out back. Just need a few more. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. Chloe's parents are so cute. Chloe's room has always been home base. It's hard to think this might be the last game we ever plan here. Not bad for an improvised stepladder, but it's still not tall enough. Just need a few more inches to reach the attic.
Maybe I could stand on some books. I think that should be There's a ton of stuff up here. How will I ever... There it is. Of course Chloe hid the amulet in the hardest... took this thing like a hundred years to rewind the land before. Her parents couldn't part with this. I guess I see where Chloe gets her sentiment. I think I can squeeze through now. I remember this. Chloe refused to get another goldfish after she had to flush Calico Jack. Not a single country record. These must belong to Chloe's mom. It's a good thing I'm big and burly. Otherwise, moving this furniture would be kinda difficult. It's full of decorations Chloe made when she was five. She thinks they're embarrassing, but I think... Keep it moving, desk. <laughs> Crap. You have to go back. I need to move that cooler, but this desk is in the way. Closer. I remember when 
more like it destroyed it. This thing is Yeah. This thing is cool, I guess. I wish I could remember how it works. Chloe Price, my best friend. It's so weird being back in this attic after so long. I remember being terrified of this place. I think when you're a kid, you're only afraid of things that can hurt you. But when you get older, you become more afraid of hurting the people you think. And <laughs> I have you now, Scout. Man, I'm gonna miss her. Watching me up. I'm just getting some light. This cavern is even darker than I remembered. Did you conquer your fears? You could say that. Awesome. Now get your ass down here. We have treasure to find. <laughs> On my way. No big deal. Bring the amulet over here so I can... Chloe is so excited. I better bring her the amulet before she makes me walk the plank. It's not that I don't like the blue. I'm just sad to see the old... One time, we stuck a bunch of this tape to Chloe's face to make a blue beard. Putting it on was a lot more fun than taking it off. This was a fun experiment. I'm almost surprised we actually managed to grow something. Poor Bongo. Chloe took his death so... I guess Chloe's mom comes all the way back here to smoke.
Chloe and I have done lots of homework at this table. It's so weird. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. I've spent so much of my life here. Every little corner is familiar. Comforting. These games we're playing. Buried pirate treasure from our past selves. Is this why I keep pushing off telling Chloe I'm leaving? Because I don't want to ruin this time together. How am I going to... Sup, dude? Bro. Don't you mean sis? Maybe I meant nerd. Dork. Punk. Punks are cool. I still wish I could live in the world we drew. Ah, my greatest work of art. I call it how I lost my magnifying glass. Great art is never appreciated. Yo-ho, yo-ho, a pirate's rum for me. Do you drink? Yar! No, not really. I had to fish an empty bottle from the recycling bin. That's probably for the best. Some pirate you are. Chloe's bottle rocket. <laughs> the fastest way to get an entire bottle of soda in your hair. I wish this was big enough to jump. It's only September. It'll be totally dive bombable in a few weeks. Yeah. A few weeks. I can't wait to see what we're supposed to do with the amulet. Hey, Yar! Walk the plank. Perfect. Wait, just... Yar! You must ask permission before setting foot, er, peg, on another captain's boat. Permission to come aboard, Captain? Grrrr! One amulet. Coming right up. Okay, uh, I, th I think it goes... Damn it. I forget how to make this stay on. Stay here. I think I saw some tape. Thanks, Max. Just some tape left between us and the treasure. Score. One step closer to getting that treasure. Whatever it is. you told me this morning that we'd be spending the day as pirates, I would have thought you were crazy. Yeah, I probably look like a loot.
Chloe, you could never be a loser. Even if... Well, yeah. The best friend code requires... It's just... This whole day has made me feel like a little kid again. I can't believe we were eight and nine when we planned this. I can. This tiny kid's head is squeezing the shit out of my head. <laughs> well, treasures don't find themselves. Lead the way. Avast, matey. Have you brought me prize? Ahoy, Bluebeard. I have brought the stickiest tape in all the seven. Well done, fellow skelly. It's just like old times. Come on. Remember how we used to talk about ruling the bays of Arcadia one day? We thought we were going to be pirates forever. If being a pirate means acting silly and going on crazy adventures together, then we'll always be pirates. Hell yeah. Would you like to do the honors, Long Max Silver? Me? Are you sure? Of course. Come on, navigator. Point me to some treasure. Wait, how am I supposed to use this? The drawing on the lens. It should line up with something. Here goes nothing. Okay, this drawing is supposed to line up with something. I think the drawings should turn the real world into something priority. I can't line it up with anything. Maybe I'm not holding it right. <gasps> Got it. <laughs> yes! You rock! Here? Okay, take a step. No, no. The other right. My other right or your other right? <sighs> My other right. Got it. Wait, what? Way. Oh, perfect. Now come towards me. Bingo. That is not what we buried. What?
is this? I, I don't know. Let's open it. From Bloody Bill. Who's that? I'll get the tape layer. Aha. <laughs> Chloe's dad is such a goofball. <laughs> Ahoy there, plank walkers! <laughs> it's me, Buddy Bill, the Pirate King. <laughs> By now, you'll have seen that I dug up your treasure, which would normally make us mortal enemies. But hear me out. I haven't pilfered a thing. On the contrary. I figured you swashbucklers might not be back to your loot for some time, so I've given it extra protection from the winds and rain. I'm sure you're excited to open your time capsule, so I won't go on too long. Just know that Bloody Bill is bloody proud of you. Both of you. <laughs> Keep those sails trimmed and that anchor scrubbed, and always remember, the real treasure is... Friendship. Love. Your Oregon State prepaid college savings plan. Ugh. <laughs> 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 uh. That's what we originally buried. Huh, yeah. I guess it probably would have gotten ruined underground. Holy crap! It's Billy the Squid! He's alive! Oh, man! It really is like a time capsule. No way! Chloe, look at this. We wrote each other letters. <laughs> oh, I remember these. To Chloe Price. Thanks, Max. <laughs> I hope you are having a lot of fun being a teenager with your best friend. Aw, you were so cute. <laughs> Check it out. Ugh, Maxine. <laughs> How about mine? What did I write? This is so Chloe. You were real. Oh man, I was really goopy. I like it. That's because you're a goop. This is so cool. There's so much to look at. Is your mom going to mind about this mess? Dunno. I thought they'd be home by now. Max, remember scratch art? Oh, I love this stuff. I'm gonna draw something. All these memories. I want to look at everything. There. Now you've got something pretty to...
You're such a space hog. Chloe and I have been friends for a time capsule. Hey, what if my being in Seattle finally convinces Chloe to try an MMO? Chloe and I spilled that wine months ago, but I still feel bad about it. That's so cool that Chloe's mom is thinking about this. Looks like Chloe's a lot more responsible than I am with my allowance. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. Chloe's grandparents live in Idaho now. I guess, compared to that, Seattle's not so far. I always look especially short next to Chloe. Much better. Somebody's a goodie. Manga might be the one thing where Chloe outnerds me. No peeking at I wasn't. Get out of here. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. It's good to see you. It actually might be really fun to write letters to Chloe after I move. Holy crap. It's the end of that comic in Chloe's room. Oh, this is gross. This container looks like it could last a hundred years. Lupin, we used to read every issue from cover to cover. I still have you sure were troublesome to find. I love how Polaroid cameras make every photo look a little nostalgic. 
We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. We always make so much more of a mess here than at my house. Recording things was so much fun in third grade. I wonder if that's the voicemail Chloe's mom was... She did say she didn't want Chloe to hear it. But if Chloe's in trouble at Blackwell, this might be my only chance to get her to talk. This is Ann Rogers, Marissa's mother. Marissa from Blackwell. I need to talk to you about what your daughter did to Marissa and... I'll be keeping Marissa home with me tomorrow. At this point, I'm not comfortable sending her back to school at all. I don't know if your daughter's having trouble adjusting or what, but this needs to be addressed. Hey, are you serious? I don't want my parents to hear that. I've never gotten in trouble like this before. They already know. I, um, I saw an email on your parents' computer. What happened? Something so minor. Her mom is exaggerating. I bet Marissa told her that I... I'm telling you, it's stupid. Come on. You've got to tell me what happened. I'm your best friend. Man, none of this would have happened if I had you around. I wouldn't care what anyone said. Uh, sorry. I don't mean it's your fault. I... <sighs> anyway, she wouldn't leave me alone, so I turned up her Bunsen burner in science. Just a little. What? No one got hurt, not even close. You know that I know what I'm doing. Chloe, what do you mean she wouldn't leave you alone? She was making fun of my clothes and... Calling me a scholarship kid. Is that why you wanted to throw away your hoodie? Don't worry. I'll keep it. Hey, you can handle this. You're so much cooler than she is. <laughs> Just to you. Thanks, Max. Goodbye, Vase. Soon you won't. These used to make great pirate swords. Uh, how's the masterpiece? Working on the last bit. How about you? Done with the time capsule? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Well, perfect, because now I'm finished. Check it out. This is so silly. <laughs> this jawbreaker is going to last forever? Just like our friendship. Oh, Chloe, you were really drawing me that whole... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mushiness a little. <laughs> Keep it together. I guess now's my chance to tell Chloe I'm leaving. 
We might not be alone again once our parents get back. Hey, ready for something else? I've got a great plan for the afternoon. Crap. I don't want to ruin the rest of... You're staying for dinner, right? Would Chloe even want me? She's already got enough drama from Black... Meh. It's just Seattle. I'm probably overstressing about the whole thing. Right? Okay. What's the... I'm taking you to the beach. We haven't been since school started. Yeah. That's... It's gonna feel different now, though. Why? Because we're pirates again! We can't go to a beach without taking it over. Or at least making a hideout. <laughs> so? You wanna do that? Make a hideout? <laughs> yeah! One that's really tucked away so people won't mess with it or even see it. I know exactly where we could put it. You know those two rocks? Right by the grassy part? Oh yeah, that's perfect. Oh man! We could probably make it big enough to keep things there. Like a food stash. And towels and stuff? Yeah, and a flashlight and maybe blankets. So we can go there at night.
too. I didn't want to see you sad. Chloe, listen. Even if I never, even if we're moving for good, Chloe, you're my best friend. I will always, always love you. Goodbye.